Hey, 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 what's up guys? Hey, 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 hey. Hello class, this is Sir Boye, your science teacher. And welcome to my channel. Describe the components of scientific investigation. Big question. How do you find solutions with your daily problems? To deal with our daily problems, everyone must think of a possible solution to every problem being encountered using previous experiences or asking questions or advices may be a great help to solve a problem but it would be easier to solve problem when one would think logically and critically such that one would follow certain steps and solving problems. Just as it does for a professional scientist, the scientific method will help you to focus your science fair project. That's questions. Construct hypothesis, design, execute, and evaluate your experiment. And so, to deal with daily problem, we need scientific method as our guide in solving a problem. So what is a scientific method? Scientific method is a set of procedures that is used to find answers to questions about the world around us. Scientists follow in order to solve problem or to gain knowledge around the world. Is there only one scientific method? No, there are several versions of scientific method. Some versions have more steps to be followed, while others may have only a few. However, they all begin with the identification of a problem or a question to be answered based on observations. Most scientific perform experiments to work out solutions to problems. Doing experiments enable them to see cause-effect relationships. The scientific method involves several steps as follows. Identify or define the problem, gather enough information, formulate the hypothesis, test the hypothesis, make a conclusion, and verify the conclusion. Identify or define the problem. State your problem in a question form. The scientific method starts with you as a question about something that you observe how what when who which why or where gathering enough information about the problem and study them go to the library and read books about your problem you can also use computer or mobile phone and make internet research to help you find the best way to do things and ensure that you don't repeat mistakes from the past. Formulate the hypothesis. Make a guess. State the possible answer to the problem. A hypothesis is an educated guess about how things work. It's like saying, if I do this, then this will happen. You must state your hypothesis in a way that you can easily measure. And of course, your hypothesis should be constructed in a way to help you answer your question about your problem.
test the hypothesis. Conduct experiment to prove your hypothesis or tentative answer. You need more experimental tests, whether your hypothesis is true or false. You should repeat your experiment several times to make sure that the first results were not just an accident. Make a conclusion. Explain the result of your experiment. Once your experiment is complete, you collect your measurements and analyze them to see if your hypothesis is true or false. Even if you find that the hypothesis is true, you test it again, maybe in a new way for better answer of your question and your problem. Verify the conclusion, share results, compare findings, and repeat if necessary. To complete your science project, you will communicate your results to others in a final report or a display board. Professional scientists do almost exactly the same thing by publishing their final report in a scientific journal or by presenting their result on a poster or a scientific meeting. Let us check your understanding. What steps of the scientific method of investigation is being referred to in the following statements? You will conduct an experiment to test a specific hypothesis involves only those factors whose effects are to be studied. Those factors are known as variables. If your answer is test the hypothesis, your answer is correct. The investigatory well research relevant information about the problem. Some go to the library and read books about the problem. If your answer is gather enough information, your answer is correct. Based on information from past research or literature studies you gather, this will make you guess about the solution of your problem. It's like saying, if I do this, then this will happen. If your answer is formulate the hypothesis, your answer is correct. You have something to be investigated and you need to find the problem about the issues you want to work on. This will happen when you ask questions about something that you observe. If your answer identify or define a problem, your answer is correct. After repeating the experiment using the same procedure and conditions, now you are ready for your conclusive findings. Here you can explain the result of the experiment. If your answer is made a conclusion, your answer is correct. The result have been achieved so far in relation to the problem with the given facts relevant and measurable. This time, you can share the result of your experiment. If your answer is verify the conclusion, your answer is correct. Thank you and I hope that you enjoy watching this video. Please watch our next topic about identifying variables. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell to be updated in my videos. Thank you.